Hi, I'm George. I'll be showing you how to adjust facial features here inside of Photoshop. And right now we're in Photoshop 2022. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and check out my complete training course for Photoshop. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, the adjust facial features tool is up here under filters right here. And it's inside of Liquify. Bring this one up. Now Liquify is an old filter, it's been around forever, but having the adjust facial features in here is relatively new. So you may not have heard about this one. And that's right over here. We have all these drop downs, brush tool options. There is the face aware liquify right here. Mesh options, mask options, and view options. Let's just hide everything in here. And we'll just open up the face aware liquify right there. And in here we have several sections. Let me just collapse those so they're easy to see. Eyes, nose, mouth, and face shape. Now, Photoshop should have automatically found the face, and I think it did here pretty easily because that's all we have on this. Now this tends to work better if the person is looking right at the camera. If they're looking off to the side or it's like a three quarter view, it may not catch the face. So this really is best for straight on views. Now we're gonna make her look younger here by doing a few things, making the mouth a bit different, making the eyes larger, making the nose smaller, and making the face a bit wider. All those things will make her look like she is a younger person. So we'll start with our eyes up here. When you're working on the eyes, you can work on them either independently, left and right, or together. And I think you should always be doing this together. So just click on these links right here. This will then link all those together. And we'll increase our eye size a little bit here. You can see right there, there's the eye size. And we'll bring it up, oh, about 50 or so, 49, that's good. Now at the bottom down here is a preview button. Just uncheck that, there's before, and here's the after. There's our preview. Maybe just a little bit larger. I'll exaggerate it just a bit here. There we go. And we can increase the eye height just a touch and the width just a touch. All of these things are going to make her look younger because the eyes will be larger based upon the size of the head. And we can also tilt the eyes if you want to in here. I think just a little bit of a tilt is more fun. Just like that, let's see how we're doing. There's our before and after preview. I think that looks good. Okay, let's work on the nose now. People's noses tend to get slightly larger as they get older. So we want to make our nose smaller. So start off here with the nose height. Now going to the right makes it smaller. Going to the left makes it longer. So I'm going to go just a bit here to the right. Not too much, but about like that, I think. And then the width in here we can bring the width down a little bit. There we go. And then we'll work on our mouth. We'll first look at our upper and lower lips. I think the lower lip really is too large in here especially for somebody who is younger. So I'm gonna bring the size down just a bit like that. There we go. And we can bring our mouth width a little bit larger because again, she's a little younger here, so a little bit larger mouth. Bring our height up just a bit. Notice that kind of opens the mouth up like that. And let's give her a little bit of a smile in here. Just, just a touch, not crazy like that, but just, just a little bit. There we go, a little bit happier. I think that's more natural for a younger person. Now let's see how we're doing before and after. I think she looks younger now. I think that's working out. And on her face width, it's a little bit wider on the face. You can see here's the face. I can go slimmer or wider. I don't want to go too wide. Just a little bit wider in there on the face. And there we go. I think we have made her look quite a few years younger now just by adjusting those facial features. You can see how easy it is to do this. Really very simply, just come in and play around with it and you'll be okay. And then to finish off, just click on okay. And there we go. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and make sure you take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.